Hi year one! I know we haven't seen each other for a while, in fact it's been quite a long time now, so instead of writing you a little letter this week, I thought I'd send you a video message. How are you all? I hope you're all okay. Did you see the thunderstorms the other day? Weren't they amazing? I was watching them out of my window and the lightning was so bright, it was fantastic to see. Hope you've all been staying busy. After I've done my schoolwork today, I'm planning to go to a bike ride. Um, I'm going to ride to the park and in the park by me there is a pond. One of my friends told me that there are some little baby goslings, little baby geese in there. So I can't wait to see them. I might take some food with me to feed them. But before I go, I thought I'd read you a story. It's about a baby spider monkey in the rainforest. It's called One Day on Our Blue Planet in the Rainforest. Oh look, those are rainforest animals that live up high in the treetops. As the morning sun rises over the rainforests of South America, a young black spider monkey and his mother look out across the treetops. Relaxing nearby are the rest of his family, who all live together in a group called a troop. They use barks and screeches to talk to each other. It can be very noisy. The little monkey clings tightly to his mother's back. Using her strong tail like an extra arm, she swings through the trees and tangled branches, reaching for the most delicious fruit and leaves to eat. The rainforest is home to many other creatures, from tiny marmosets and tamarinds to the strangest and most beautiful birds. Where has this monkey's mother gone? He can't see her anywhere in the crowded canopy. Can you see her? He searches through the dense lower levels of the rainforest and emerges above a winding river. His troop often come down here to drink but his mother is nowhere to be found. He never ventures this far down on his own. The plants and creatures here have adapted to the very low light. And not all of them are friendly. <gasps> Here she is. Luckily, there are very few things that can catch a spider monkey in the trees. Darkness draws in and the nighttime animals begin to emerge from their hidden nests and secret burrows. The monkey's mother carries him to the safety of their troop's favourite sleeping tree and the forest buzzes with the sounds of insects. The little monkey sleeps in his mother's arms. Until a new sun rises on another day in our blue planet. And here are the animals live down below in the rainforest so they live in the lower parts. I love that story and I especially love the pictures. Aren't they so bright and colourful all the way through with lots of different animals. Anyway I hope you all have a lovely day. Hope you're all staying safe. I miss you lots and I can't wait to see you all soon. Bye!